Yesterday when we had the secretary and the chairman up here, they both mentioned the internal pain that they've felt associated with this. Um, is there going to be additional outreach from the department to veterans, to active duty service members who serve in Afghanistan because this seems to be somewhat of a trigger for people who are maybe having suicidal ideation or have uh, been depressed you know, just because of the way it all fell out? One of the reasons I wanted to make sure in my opening statements to, to talk about Suicide Prevention Month in September, of course, obviously, um, uh, but we want to make clear that there are resource, resources available, uh, and I think you'll hear more from department leadership uh, communicating that across the force. And I know that I don't want to speak for the VA, but I know that Secretary McDonough feels very strongly about this as well. Um, we all recognize that that the uh, events in just the recent past, certainly the, the last month or so, uh, will uh, will factor in and, and, and potentially bear heavily on some of our veterans, Afghan, Afghan war vets. And as you heard the Secretary say yesterday, I mean, everyone's different. Um, and we need to respect the fact that everyone will process this in their own way and over a course of time of their choosing. Uh, but it's important, and I, again, I tried to hit this at the top, that, uh, that however you end up processing this, that you know it's okay to reach out for help, whether that's professional help or just friends, family, colleagues, that, um, that it's important that we respect each other and, uh, and try to stay in touch with one another going forward. But I do think you'll continue to hear throughout this month uh, additional uh, messages from department leadership uh, about that issue, but also just writ large how that ties into mental health in, in particular. Yes, sir.